Hey guys, welcome back to part two of making a blanket. This is Debbie from I Plan to Create. And um, as you can see, I added a date of birth. Sorry, got a phone call. But um, so I'm gonna take my other piece here. This is flannel. I got it from Joann's. Um, and I'm just gonna lay it on top of this the way it is because we want the the right sides together so we can sew it and then we turn it inside out so let me just put it together so we can pin it all right so I've laid my flannel on top of the blanket that's how you want it to be let me just show you here on the other side as well and then we're gonna pin it together and we're gonna take it to the sewing machine now these um, fabrics are about a yard each that's all you need for a baby's blanket so I'm just gonna pin it around. Let me just put you down right here. Excuse my mess on my bed. <laughs> and I'm just gonna, and what we wanna do is leave an opening somewhere here, maybe right here, from here to here. Like my, the size of my hand, like that, from here to the other side of my hand. I wanna leave it open, cause that's what we're gonna use to turn this back inside out. So I'm just gonna pin it right here. My first pin is gonna go here. And then my second pin, I'm going to put my hand down and then I'm just going to pin it over here. And I'm just going to keep pinning all around it, all around, all around, all around, right? And then we're going to start sewing from this point all around the blanket to this point right here. So we can leave this here open. Alright, so I moved over to my other craft space. And I actually switched the pins to the right side. I have pinned it on on the on the reverse side of the blanket on the white part. So I switched them over to the correct um, place, which is the pattern area, the pins. So I can sew on top of this here. And excuse my son, he's playing his video games and he's talking to himself. But anyway, I'm gonna open it up and I'm just gonna start sewing at that point where I said, which is right here, I'm going to start either here or on this side, which I'm thinking, yeah, it's going to be on this side where I, no, actually I have to turn it this way because my machine. So I'm going to start from here and I'm just going to go all around till I get to this spot here and leave that opening so I can flip it inside out. All right, so I'm positioned my blanket where it needs to be. And I'm just gonna um, sew like a quarter inch in from the edge. I'll say that's about, well, actually that's like a half an inch, which is fine. Half an inch, quarter inch, whichever one is fine with. It. It's what you prefer. So let me take off that pin. I forgot to print, bring my pin cushions so I can put them back, but that's okay. I just lay them to the side. I'm using white thread. And I'm gonna bring my press the foot down. Like I said, this is about, I say, almost a half an inch seam. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm looking at this part of the press of foot, and I'm gonna want my blanket, which is the pattern side of the blanket, to stay um, aligned with my press of foot, and that's gonna give me guidance to get a straight. Um, stitch all the way around the blanket so I'm just gonna um, start a little bit and then I'm gonna do a back stitch so it doesn't come up, come apart when I'm turning it inside out and I'm just gonna sew all the way around just like I am now. I'm gonna adjust so my blanket stays straight that's what I'm aiming for for it to just be a straight stitch all the way around I'm not a professional so <laughs> I'm trying my best here so far so good let me remove this pin so I'm just gonna go all the way around and then I'll meet you back stop about half an inch 
I'm going to pull up my, my presser foot. I'm going to turn, pivot. I still need to do a little bit more stitching. So it touches the edge. That should be enough right there. See? It's aligned with the presser foot again. Hope you can see that. You're not too far away, but you get my I think you get my, my point. Alright, so I'm just gonna keep sewing and I'll meet you guys back. That should be enough. Okay. And I'm just gonna backspace here. I'm gonna come forward again. That should be good. I'm gonna come on. I'm looking for my fabric scissors. There's so many scissors here. Okay, these are my fabric ones. I'm just gonna cut the thread here. Let's move this machine out of the way for a second. cut this thread I'm gonna be using these scissors here these um I forgot what they're called um it's like shears I believe is what they call and I got these these are loops loops and threads by loops and threads and yeah so I'm gonna be cut I mean using that to cut the excess blanket off this is so it doesn't have any um the blanket doesn't have any shedding so that's what these scissors are for so I'm going to start cutting I'm just gonna start cutting from right here it's fine so right at the edge let me see how I can put you so you can see all right right there that's good so make sure that you don't cut the um where you sew that so I'm just gonna go right there like that. All the way around with these scissors before I turn it around and do my stitching in the, on the top of the blanket to give it that finished look. So I'm just gonna cut this and I'll be back. Woo, finally, I have finished cutting and these are pinking shears is what they call, I believe. I just thought about it. Um, so now this is the opening right here. So I'm just gonna turn it inside out. Just gonna grab an edge. You can see it's one of the edges. I'm just gonna pull it through. And I'm gonna grab the other edge, pull it through. Just start turning it inside out. Just gonna grab another edge, pull it through, and then where's my last edge? Okay, just put it inside there. And with the ends of a pair of scissors, you can actually. Oh, I'm gonna use this, which is what I, my weeding tool to um, stretch out the um, the corners. I'm just gonna use this so I can pull it out. Like that. I'll just put my pinking, I mean my pinking shears, my weeding tool in there to do that. I'm gonna do the same to this side, like so, to every corner. And there it is. And then the last one. Bring it over here. Yeah. 
I think that it's small enough to fit in there at the corner. All right, there. So I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna clean up and I'll get back. Cheap. So before I take it to the sewing machine again, I wanna take my iron and I'm just gonna iron, iron this so it lays nice and flat. So this part where it's open here, that's the part where we turn it inside out. Lay, lays flat and nice. So when I go over with that straight stitch around the blanket, it, it comes out really, really pretty. And I might do a zigzag. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking about it. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. Or off, off camera, I'm gonna iron it, and I'll be back. All right. So I finished ironing the blanket, and this time I want to line my edge of the blanket with the inside of the um the presser foot so right at the edge of this side of the presser foot so right in here hope that makes sense so that's that's about a quarter inch right there and i'm not going to start all the way at the edge i'm going to start a little bit more um back from there put my presser foot down and i'm just going to do a straight stitch I'm going to do straight stitch, not a zigzag, because it's for my grandson. So I'm just going to do a straight stitch. First, I'm not going to back stitch or anything like that, because when I come back around, I have to go over it again to make sure. So I'll go back and forth here at the end when I'm done. Oh, my thread came off again. Just noticed it. Again, align my blanket where I want it. Press the foot down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to the thread, so just in case, sometimes it <laughs> comes right back out. There, and I have to let it go. Now, I don't wanna go too fast. I wanna make sure that it stays aligned. I wanna straight, as straight as possible. turn it to finish off this side, go over it and then I'm gonna go back a few times get a stick it and then go forward and that's it I'm gonna put my presser foot up lift up my needle and then I'm gonna cut I'll find my scissors okay let's move this machine And I'm gonna um, show you the end results. I'm just gonna lay my blanket down on my bed so you can see it. I'm just gonna cut off these little threads. I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna hand it over to my grandbaby. It's the second one I make for him. The first one I just put his name on it, I believe, I think. That's what I did. Unless I didn't. I don't even remember. It was a while ago. But it is completely done. See the, the stitching there. It's barely noticeable because it's white. It's red. Alright, so I'm going to lay it down on my bed so you can see. Here's our finished blanket. His name is on this side. Birth date is on that side. I love the way it turned out anyway guys this is it I hope you enjoyed this quick video tutorial and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I do upload again which will be soon and again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye